Hello and welcome to this little tour of a custom build of Pemberton's Dairy that I've built on No Man's Land. Now this is in no way all of my own mind. Um, I have used uh, help from guides um, by FS Landscaping. I will put a link in the description to his videos. I have made a few changes. I have done a few things different to sort of to make it my own and because uh, you know different mods are available now from when he did his but go and check his out compare the two but first of all we start here on the main road uh, Balam Road I believe it's called we haven't done this side yet we've just got the farm so as we come in we have farm shop car park we have this small area here that's sometimes used uh, with the highlands. Sometimes have that them out front. And we'll uh, drift over. Got a little uh, garage there next to that. We have the house. Now I couldn't find a mod that really resembled their sort of house. So what I've done is a mishmash of, I believe they're from the French um, map buildings mod pack. I believe it's available on PC and console and I've just sort of pushed them all in together to make a nice big house. And then on the side here, the little pasture that sometimes has um, sort of young calves in. Um, I think the Highlands sometimes go in here, I think they have been on occasion, the odd sheep or two. Then obviously we have the, uh, the Highland pen out front on the main road. I have sort of stretched my map out that way. I've been building that way. Uh, no real rhyme or reason as to how I'm doing it. I'm just expanding where I can find pictures on the internet. <laughs> That's how this has worked. A lot of this I'm doing with uh, Google Maps open on my other screen, on my other monitor, and uh, working from that. Now, I've probably gone <laughs> a little bit heavy on the tires, but in, in watching the, the Pemberton series on YouTube, um, it always always struck me funny how many tires they would have and how many they would stack and they'd put them all over the roof and everything so uh, yeah that's what I've gone with here that's kind of how that works now if I uh, come down a little bit in here I haven't put anything really in here I'll stack some bales in here when I get going and doing some things um, We've made it look like there's a little carving area. Put the old tractor in here, because they've always got an old tractor. Now, I have been fortunate enough to find a mod uh, for a wall. There are no walls yet on console, which is strange. So uh, I've been lucky enough to find one. So I've been able to put a wall across there. We have uh, two cow sheds. This is this bit is much like uh, FS Landscapings. We don't have a, one massive cattle shed to fill that space. There's two cattle sheds there, and I've put my manure pit here. Uh, just because if I do decide to use these sheds, I didn't want to block anything up down there and turn them round. So I've got my manure pile going here. We have fuel. We've got a little water tower. Yeah. slurry tank a little bit of debris and stuff around here we have another large cattle shed now this is normally stacked down here with um, wrapped bales big wrapped bales but since there's a silage clamp I thought I'd put some more tyres on it and uh, have a bit of a laugh with it now if I uh, come back down again we'll get in closer so we see we've got the fencing going round, we've got gates. Another gate down this way. To make it easier, I've marked out sort of more dirt where the cows go out. Hopefully we'll get some more um, open pastures. I found one, I haven't put one in the, in the map yet, but I have found one on a third party website, so I might put that in soon. And then this has... Uh, FS Landscaping puts it is the is the milking parlour. 
So that's there. I've put a few uh, a few extra bits in here. I might put some more things in here. We haven't got a, uh, a cow um, crush mod. Not that I can find. But I wouldn't mind getting one in there and making that a little bit, a bit tastier. And then again, we've got our cow sheds. We've just got a shed on the end here. Uh, FSL, he puts in a... Um, like a trailer which does work well but I just wanted to do something a bit different uh, it gives me a spot to hide away some storage stuff and uh, yeah it just sort of fits in with these two buildings that's how that's going around here I'm using for maintenance at the minute now there's probably other things stored here on Pemberton's I'd have to watch and really study where they go in the videos but that's what I've got here now I've gone for a different shop build to what FSL has so the mine looks a little different um, I've gone with this placement now this doesn't have great function but it's more for the aesthetics along with sort of these here uh, I've gone for a different build on this side this is sheds. I think he, he uses um, smaller placeable sheds, whereas I've gone for a longer one. <coughs> Excuse me. And then again, this is more aesthetics, I believe, rather than something that's being used. But we've got, got everything down. Now out this way, around the back of the shop. I might have to change this. Well, I should change this because this isn't how it is. The pathway comes out the back of the shop to get to see the sheep. This I've noticed in uh, further research, whereas I've put a pathway down the side here. But I've also done that so that I can easily get a tractor with a mower on. And when I dig these up, I can uh, then mow them if I wish. Got a gate here to get in, a gate there, two gates. Now, I put a little seating area around the back here, but this is where the seating area really should be behind the trailer like what FSL does. But I've just done mine there to give myself a little bit more room for manoeuvring about because the tractors and buildings aren't always um, to size on scale and things like that. But here we have where we'd have the lambs, horses, all that's been put in um, so the road is in up to the end of the fence there uh, I might put a neighbor's house and then just fill that up with trees along the side and then coming out and across we have the first big meadow like I say I might put some um, open uh, cow grazing bits in here feeders and stuff and then we've got the another big meadow out the back Again, we've got fence to separate that. Now this hedge, excuse me, isn't the best. I'll probably put some uh, painted bushes in to mix that up as well. As nice as it is to have these hedges, I mean they don't look so bad once you're down on the ground, I guess. We have a nice big meadow here and that reaches round if I can come up. So put the uh, sort of trackway in, that goes up that way, that goes up that way. And then at the end of the dike, we've got the uh, small little woodland that there is. So that's going to be the end of my playing area if I was to, uh, to play on here. Now I'll just show you my dike with my bridges. We can get over here. So that goes all the way up. We've got the bridges across. I don't think that looked too bad. Quite a wide dike. But I think I've done like I did with um, Clarkson's farm. I've gone a little bit too big. But I like it. It should be big. Now here then have another field. I've still got some details and stuff to put in over here. This is like crap stored here. 
and I've used other people's houses to put in a few extra sort of cell points and functionality to it. Fences all the way across. I just want to try and see if I can hurry across here. And this meadow has an entrance um, off of Pegs Lane, so we can come at it from both sides. So if I want to get some maybe bigger equipment in, I can come in off the road. Again, there's still some more details to be put in along this side and over here. I don't think uh, the Pemberton's own fields on this side. I'm not certain of that. Now over here is land that I'm using because I'm not sure if that is if it is where it is, but they have a secondary plot where they sometimes um, put uh, silage. And that's sort of what I've gone with here. If I uh, turn around and come back out again. But that's undercover. Now to do that, I've put down my silage clamp and I've placed a shed inside it. So the silage should, should still tip and fill. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully that'll work. Now I'm gonna try and have um, an open cattle pasture in there as well if I can because then I could use that as the, the, the bit of land where they sometimes put their other cows again I'm not certain of where that is exactly but that's there and um, I've got a manure pit there and a manure pit more tyres just because I think it's so funny and I was so impressed that I worked out how to stack them like that how cool is that um, everyone can probably do it but I, I'm terrible with the, uh, the building the landscaping in uh, FS22. Another little manure pit here, whereas if I do fill up with a lot of cows and uh, I could just start storing manure around this side out of the way. And this is just a neighbour's house. Come up around here. Again, I got this off Google. So uh, if it's wrong, that's all on me. Now here, there was just people's houses and it looked like a load of junk and crap, so I've just put some houses in there. Uh, this is a big posh house in reality, got a pool and everything here. Um, but I've just put a dairy down and a um, stone crusher lime factory. Just so I have somewhere to put that and make. <laughs> and now I've just got started on the other side of uh, Balam Road got the trees in, I've started to extend the dike because I believe they have a bit of land on this side and a bit of land this side because this then stretches down opposite the golf club I believe so that's, that's where I'm going to try and work that in yeah that is what I've been doing for the last couple of days um, in doing this I've <laughs> I've not recorded any uh, other videos <laughs> so next week might be a little bit weak on on video front but I've just been having fun trying to learn um, the landscape tool a bit better trying to get used to building how it all works like I said, I've been following uh, a guide from FS Landscaping. I will link him down below. Uh, so a big shout out to him and his mad skills. The time and effort he puts in because I would... Well, I would have done because I've done um, Clarkson's, but I wouldn't have been able to do it as quick as I have uh, because he's already um, laid a lot of the stuff out. But for me now, it's making the rest of the map and doing that myself. So if you enjoyed it, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you'd like me to do some more videos showing you how I expand it, and then maybe at the end, I'll do a video on how I built it. Completely like a time lapse. We'll start from scratch on a fresh map and take it all down. Let me know in the comments. See how you feel. But you guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.